So when you are immortalizing your content and your legacy, that also means that you're putting your message in front of people that whether your body's still working or not, they have not ever seen your content before. So it's a machine that never stops. It never sleeps. It always keeps on going. You need to create an enormous amount of content and you need to create a system for the distribution of that content. So your content now becomes potential for you to distribute that content at scale. How can you make sure that your legacy will go on for generations? Is trademarking a necessary piece of immortalizing the legacy? How do you deal with copycats? Well, let's go one at a time, okay? Speaking from experience, what I just went through, I have been immortalizing my dad's legacy for the last two years. It's been incredible to watch. It's been very rewarding. The fact that I created a machine that now keeps on presenting my father and his legacy and his message to millions of people across the world. Still today, he's being seen by more people today than before he passed away. So this whole thing about legacy has become very evident to me. Here's a requirement for you to immortalize your legacy. You need to create an enormous amount of content and you need to create a system for the distribution of that content. And you need to have somebody that feels responsibility over sending that message far and wide and keep on using it over and over again. It's like, you know, if you think about uh, musicians of old, right? Like musicians pass away and their music becomes immortal. And actually, historically, more people consume their music beyond their years. You think about somebody like, for example, a, a legend in the reggae genre, Bob Marley. I mean, that individual died very, very young. His content has been heard for 40 years after his death already. So if he produced music for 13 years of his life, maybe somewhere around 15 years since he was a teenager to the age of 30 something, his content, now his music has gone throughout the entire world in the next 40 years at a scale that was a dream for him back then. That's immortalizing that content. In the case of like somebody creating content for social media or for distribution on, in the internet in general, it's all about that machine. Because the first thing that you got to realize is that there's people coming into this rotation and leaving this rotation every single day. What do I mean by that? There's 4 billion people actively on the internet every single day. 4 billion people across the world. There's 8 billion people in total. Half of those don't even have access to the internet. There's a lot of people every day coming to the internet for the first time. There's a lot of people every day not using the internet anymore. It happens. It's an ever-growing ecosystem that has people come in and people go out every day. Many people stop using Facebook and they go to Instagram. Many people for the first time ever open up a TikTok account. This is happening every single day of our lives. Many people say to themselves, I'm not going to use social media anymore and I'm only going to do YouTube. So because this motion is always going on, then you got to know that your content is being presented to new people every single day. And you have an opportunity to capture attention of people that have never seen your face before. The social media platforms are going to keep on pushing your message in front of people consistently that have never seen your message before. So when you are immortalizing your content and your legacy, that also means that you're putting your message in front of people that whether your body's still working or not, they have not ever seen your content before. So it's a machine that never stops. It never sleeps. It always keeps on going. It always keeps on rolling. And you can be a part of that by creating a system around your message that is consistently spreading that message. We're posting videos today for my father that he created 12 years ago. We're posting them today and they're being seen as if they had never before been shared in the world. But people are seeing that content and it's impacting their lives right now because a lot of this content is, again, evergreen. What my father taught 12 years ago is going to save a life today, even though it was taught 12 years ago. So when you think about, for example, religious scriptures, how many people are consuming religious scriptures every day that were written dozens of years, hundreds of years ago, and are still saving the lives of people every single day. That is the same concept here applied to the world of the internet. We want to keep on getting people to consume the information that we created because we knew that that information was going to make somebody else better. And that's what it's all about. That's the immortalizing of a legacy and immortalizing of content. It starts with the enormous content that you want to produce. So your content now becomes potential for you to distribute that content at scale.